So we've seen that a changing magnetic field produces a curly, very strange, electric field. Is there some equation we can write down to work out the direction of this? Well, there is. The basic idea is you use the right-hand rule, but it's based on the vector minus d magnetic field by d time. So what does that mean? Let me explain. So let's say we have a solenoid with a magnetic field going in this direction, pointing a bit towards us. And let's say this magnetic field is increasing. So at time A it's gone this, and time B it's become this. So that means the change in the magnetic field is just dB, which is from there to there. So that's dB vector. So minus dB points that way. Back again. And now we use the right-hand rule for that. So you've got your thumb there and your fingers curling away. which tells us that the non-Coulomb curly electric field is going over the top and round that way. So it gives us a curly electric field in this direction, which is indeed what you get. If, on the other hand, the magnetic field inside the solenoid is getting weaker, it might go from A to C. So the change, dB would be something like that, so minus dB, remember there's a minus sign there, minus d magnetic field by d time is going to point in this direction. So now we use the right-hand rule in this direction. And we get a curly electric field that points this way. And that's how you work it out.